And the polls in Georgia are now open. This is the last Senate contest to be decided. The runoff election between the Democratic incumbent Raphael Warnock and the Republican Herschel Walker. In their final pitches to voters, there were a lot of football references. We got to get in the game and we can't sit on the sideline anymore because if we sit on the sideline, y'all see what we're going to get. We're going to get people that uh, you can't trust anymore. I'm glad we're dancing tonight, but don't dance too much. Don't spike the football before we get it into the end zone. Today's election will determine whether Democrats have a 51 to 49 Senate majority or if they'll control a 50-50 chamber with the tie-breaking vote of Vice President Kamala Harris. If Warnock wins, Democrats will have a one-vote margin, which will give them an advantage when it comes to committee assignments and will make it easier for them to confirm judges. Warnock is senior minister of the church in Atlanta where Martin Luther King once preached. In the November election, he finished 37,000 votes ahead of Walker, not quite enough to give him a majority, which is why there's a runoff today. He has argued that the election is about competence and character. He says Walker isn't ready for high office. The former University of Georgia football star was forced to admit during the campaign that he fathered three children out of wedlock. Two anonymous women claim he encouraged them to have abortions, even though Walker opposes abortion. And Walker's primary residence is in Texas, not Georgia. That's a detail that Warnock has emphasized. My opponent was an amazing football player. I grew up watching him in the 80s. He was a great running back, and we're getting ready to send him running back to Texas. Walker has blasted Warnock, calling him a yes man for President Biden and blaming his opponent for inflation, crime, and other problems. Guys, you, you know what's happening. We got an open border. We got an open border that we can secure that border. But we just got to put the right leaders in Washington. We got uh, people that are afraid to go out of their house at night because of crime. But we can solve that. We just got to put the right people in Washington. Nearly two million people have already voted in this election. That broke a record for a runoff in Georgia. Early voting ended Friday. Lots of voters spent hours waiting to cast their ballot. It's been a very expensive campaign for both candidates. They and outside groups have spent as much as $400 million.